Connection is the antidote to isolation. And one of the quickest ways to get out of the habitual retreating and protecting response, yeah, is to get involved, especially with others. Get involved with our lives. Get involved with people around us. But for many of us, when we're in that pain cycle and retreating and contracting away from life, holding on to pain, it's like reaching out and connecting with our life and with other people seems like the last thing we want to do. Now, once we're in that kind of shaming ourselves, yeah, it's, I don't know, it seems like scary or shameful to say, ah, this is what's going on. But actually, when we do this, when we get involved with other people, this creates a natural flow. Now, Brene Brown talks extensively about the power of connection, the power of vulnerability to shift us into what she calls wholehearted living. Now, when we involve others, we automatically start to implement connection. We get the benefits of that community, that communication. We get support, we get empathy, uh, and we get the experience more, more intensively that we're just not alone. Uh, this sounds all really great, so why do we avoid connection? Especially when we need it the most, when we're afraid or when we're in pain, when we're lonely. Involving ourselves and our desires, our dreams, our insecurities, our embarrassments, and sharing that with others, often it, this offers connection. But it also offers possible conflict. Now, many of us get stuck in our creativity and stop when it comes to implementing because of our fear of conflict. We imagine how other people, were, they're going to respond to us, and we think, what are they going to say about my project? And when we fear that possible outcome, that possible conflict that we might experience because of it, yeah, this is when we stop reaching out to connection. Right? As well, there's all the possible conflict that's tied up in our physical patterns around fear. Yeah? I'm fine. I don't need you. Uh, I'm good. Yeah? And this, instead of allowing us to connect, be curious, expressions of um, interest and vulnerability, has us going, going back into struggles for becoming and pretending something that is I don't know, above all that. Now, when we do this, we maintain the positions and the borders of our life instead of seeking movement and connection. And once again, our intention and our desire for connection is, yeah, kind of misaligned or fucked up by the repeated physical expression, the patterns of effort that we hold in our, in our bodies. And most of that shows up in how we're pretending strength yeah, we're becoming overly confident, controlling, or dominant, yeah? And this creates that we lose touch with our feelings and our situations, and more importantly, others around us. Our experience becomes one of conflict instead of connection. Yet connection is for our body the most natural state it knows. Our body is intimately connected and constantly connected with reality. It's always in the now, and it's always involved with its surroundings. Whether our mind and our emotions say, no, 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 I'm fine. Our bodies are always, always involved with everything that's surrounding us. Okay? Our bodies are the implementers of connection. Now, in physics, we are understanding more and more, and we know that our being, yeah, our mind, our hearts, our, our bodies, are not only connected with the now, but also with our pasts and with our futures. I mean, it's trippy, but it is so. And we really, actually, practically, our body doesn't, doesn't know time. In fact, our bodies are so connected <laughs> that uh, every time I take a breath, I breathe all of you in. I breathe all of life in. And every time I breathe out, I give something of myself back into this, yeah, giant connection. Now, so for, for some of us, this is like, ugh. But why isn't this absolutely pleasurable? 
Yeah, why isn't this a wow? And the answer is really because in our day-to-day experience, yeah, in our held memories and repeated physical patterns, our beliefs and our feelings and what we're doing, yeah, connection is also often wired together with pain and with fear. Connection for many of us has become painful and meant I have to conflict with someone. In your own experience, you know, someone just might not like you or your project, or they might say no. And in the best possible scenario, we all want to hear yes. We want to hear yes all the time, right? But when a no comes, how do you react? And let me even ask you this. When a yes comes, how do you react? When someone says yeah to your project, do you connect or do you go internal? Do you protect? Do you calculate? Do you mistrust? Do you pretend? Yeah? Or do you stay curious, get involved, and present with the people around us. Involvement pulls us out of our internal world, our internal thing, and our self-image, and it moves that back into life, an involvement. This involvement naturally gives us tons of bonuses. I mean, think about it, guys. Creative ideas come from life, (laughs) not from inside our mind alone. Life is the inspiration. If you think about just the word inspiration, it's the most natural movement of involvement, and it's a physical thing. Inspire means oh, I breathe in, and just like I said before, when we breathe in, we breathe in and involve ourselves with life. When I breathe out, I give of myself to life. Now, I love this physical metaphor because. Like most of our body metaphors, it gives us a very clear and practical description of how inspiration works, how involvement and connection actually flow. Now, it means getting involved with life. It means breathing it in. It means giving of ourselves in return. It means movement towards life instead of retreating into ourselves. Yeah, This involvement with our life and giving of ourselves to life allows us to open up to the biggest creator that there is, life, the earth. Now, another natural outcome of involvement is community. What has allowed us as a species to survive is cooperation. (laughs) So community and involvement with others allows us to innovate and cooperate. Now, when you get involved, it invites others also to involve themselves with you, which means your project and your creativity gain an audience as well as peers. Now, involvement is the most natural guarantee for success. Okay? When we stop the isolation that we do in ourself through yeah, thinking about it in our minds, and we get back into a physical movement outwards called involvement, There's simply no way that your creativity cannot be noticed. Really, no way. Plus, involvement just feels good. Connection feels good. And remember, that's basically everything I'm teaching. You want to feel good. That's what creates the experience of us. And for those of you who are cringing just a bit, you know, and saying, ah, all this connection and involvement and blah, 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 let me just say one thing. Involvement and connection does not mean having no borders. doesn't mean having no boundaries. In fact, just think about it. Every time that you breathe in all those particles of life, your body is very clear and effective in boundaries. It fights bacteria, disease, contaminants, yeah, of every single kind. It goes into a clear conflict with that which does not serve its health, its safety, its energy, and its well-being. Now, if we use this physical action as a metaphor, connecting and involvement with life and others goes hand in hand with expressing healthy boundaries. And the choice to connect with those who we enjoy, who make us feel good, who serve our aims and allow us to thrive, share, and gain energy with. If you 
want to dive deeper into this, check out the implementation below. Just make sure while you're answering these things and exploring these things to stay physical. If you love what I'm doing and you want to get in on this conversation, definitely jump on over to our page, lifeartist.community. And what we're going to do there is have a real great conversation. Sign up for our newsletter. You'll get all kinds of information about further trainings as well as invitations to our live events. And this is where you really, really practice in a whole group of co-creators how to create this experience in your life. I'm so thankful and grateful and happy that you are here with me today. And remember, you are the creator and your experience is truly in your hands.